and gentlemen, and good evening as well. So today we're going to have a new webinar, and this time we're go going to learn about studying in the USA, especially in Tennessee. And our guest today will be the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. And our speaker is Mr. Jeffy. He is the regional manager at the International Admissions. Thanks for that introduction, Joan. Um, I just want to tell all the participants here that the new edu trend, they've been extremely helpful in um, helping me set up this session. There's Anna from the team, there's Jones from the team, they're always uh, out there and helpful. So for all uh, maybe participants who are looking for collaborators between university representatives and other agent partners, do look out for new edu trend because they're a great team. I would like to speak on uh, what are the different study options in the USA, why different international students consider this as a location, and maybe touch upon uh, different parts of my university and what are the special points about uh, this university. So in the US, uh, academic flexibility is the main selling point. And when I say academic selling, uh, when I say academic flexibility, it would mean different programs having majors as well as certain additional preferences of study called as the minor. Such flexibility is not offered in any other country, let alone if it is offered, then they would not be preferred as a student. Like in India, I know of uh, certain students who are disadvantaged, disadvantaged only because they are unique in terms of their uh, profiles. Whereas if it were in the US, those same set of students would be uh, maybe picked up by the best of recruiters. And that's what it is about in the US. Another salient uh, feature is that every, um, every university in the uh, US is almost accredited and recognized internationally. So a student who is graduating out of a college in the US, is unlikely to not find employment because of his course not being recognized. You never see cases where uh, a student has a degree and it's not recognized in, an, in another country. He or, he, is, he or she is always to find employment in another country. And this university, the University of Tennessee, Chattanooga, this is located in the mid east of US. We have over 100 uh, undergraduate programs and over 50 graduate programs. and the region, Tennessee, I'd like to speak more about it as I go ahead. Um, Chattanooga is a city located in the southeast of Tennessee. And like you can see, the landscape is really beautiful. And it is more famous for its scenic attractions. So if I take the example of, let's say, a Martin Luther King. In his famous speech, I have a dream, he mentions the Lookout Mountain. And... It, it was his meditation or a getaway space that he would like to, you know, run off to. And this is uh, 10 minutes away from the campus. Then when you take the seven state view or the rocky point on the lookout mountain, you can see seven different states. You can see Tennessee, Kentucky, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama. So then when you take uh, something different in the context of an aquarium. It has over 12,000 different animals with over 800 different species. This is again located in Chattanooga, five minutes away from our campus. So it's a campus that offers a lot of uh, unique attraction points. Then we even go to offer some convenient points for our students where the bus system is free. Then there are universities that uh, speak about having a negative carbon footprint. And we go a mile across and let's say we place 3,000 to 4,000 bike stations. And these are absolutely free for the students to use around our campus. But when an international student looks at Chattanooga, it's the climate that is best suited for them because it would be around 22 to 24 degrees Celsius in Chattanooga, nine out of 12 months, which would make it really comfortable for them to stay there. It is uh, not too warm, not too cold. It's somewhere out there in between. The only time in winter where it does snow, the college campus is shut down. So there is never a point of time where the student is going to find themselves inconvenienced because of the climate. 
And what do you say about Tennessee? What what is so special about Tennessee? When you see the star mark in the center, you can see that it is centrally located. And Tennessee is known as a supply chain hub. And when it is a supply chain hub, I'm pretty sure all of y'all are uh, interested in online shopping. And the biggest name when you think about in online shopping would be Amazon. Amazon has its warehouse centers in Chattanooga. Then when you take the case of an automotive major like Volkswagen, their biggest factory in the whole of US is in Chattanooga. General Motors has their factory in Chattanooga. It gives you a sense that Tennessee has a rich economy when it comes to businesses and engineering firms that are setting up over there. And just like the firms that are set up over there, so are the popular programs. Our popular programs are in engineering and in business. The, uni the university has, uh, maybe if you take all into account the students, faculty and staff, we have a representation of more than 100 countries on our campus. So uh, one is sure to find diversity while they're on the campus. Then if you take some US piece, like I already mentioned, US is pretty famous for having courses that are world recognized. And when you take about it being internationally recognized, you need to know that a business school, if it is AACSB accredited, less than 5% colleges in the world are uh, business schools in the world are AACSB accredited. The Gary Rollins School of Business in the University of Tennessee Chattanooga is AACSB accredited. Then when you take popular engineering programs, even an MIT or a Stanford is ABET accredited. So is the University of Tennessee Chattanooga. It gives you a sense that the academic rigor and curriculum is of the highest standards. Then uh, all our professors, they have terminal degrees. A terminal degree would mean having the highest achievement in a certain discipline. You can say that they are PhD holders. So you are sure to find the best of talent on our campus when it comes to our teaching faculty. Even the amount of attention provided to students, for every 20 students, there is a single teacher. So the class size is around 20. It's short and it gives them ample amount of attention for them to have all the necessary clarity that they would need in class. Then even in terms of the resources that are available for students, uh, you can take the SIM Center, which is uh, parallel to the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. We have the fastest supercomputer in the world. So this re these resources make it very easier for students to do their fluid dynamics experiments, engineering experiments. It makes it all the more simpler for them to explore and do their research work. And then last but not the least, we believe in an inclusive environment. We understand that international students coming or coming to our campus, they would tend to feel isolated. They would tend to find it, uh, they would make, uh, they would feel it's difficult to make friends. And that's when we came up with the Go Global Team Living Community, which would mean that uh, the international student would be paired with a US resident in the first year. That US resident would help them uh, understand the day-to-day -day activities, their surroundings, any outdoor programs that they could attend over the weekend. It's sort of like a buddy program and it is a living community. So watch out for the Go Global Living Community because the deadlines for that is a month advance. And just like every other university in the US, we do have a lot of campus amenities that we provide. I'm sure you can see all of them across on your screen. It's, um, it's a proud moment for me to say that we are an NCAA Division I team across major sports like basketball, baseball, then even um, American football. There are about 25 different, uh, 25 plus club sports that are played on campus. And this is me just talking about the men's team. If I were to take the women's team into account as well, then there would be around 35 plus sports that are played on campus. And um, you can see that gaming uh, is like an upcoming field and a lot of students are into gaming. So having an esports facility is becoming all the more important. And uh, there are fitness studios. We even have goat yoga on campus. And just like how it would sound, it's actually a goat on your back and you're doing yoga. So there are a lot of things going around in the campus. Um, our residential apartments, we have 10 different residential apartments to choose from. 
there are uh, up to 3,500 bedding facilities available on campus. And if they are not to find an apartment on our campus, they can easily find one on apartmentfinder.com. Then our dining hall, it has meal plans ranging from as low as $400 to even $1,800 a semester. And a, a student is never to feel um, or like, they are never to find a uh, situation where they're not going to dine in our dining hall because there are all sorts of cuisines available. Uh, to talk about diversity, even when it comes to Indian cuisine, in Chattanooga, there are about 10 to 12 different Indian restaurants within 5 to 10 minutes of the campus. Uh, and even Vietnamese or Chinese joints around the campus, anywhere between 10 to 12 minutes. Our campus is relatively safe. You can say that the campus police is around to give parking tickets. So then there are no shooting incidents that have happened so far. And that's, again, something that we are proud of. You can see our mockingbird, Mr. Scrappy, laughing at the corner of the right. And that's our college mascot. And our students do have the same energy on the campus as our mascot. Now keeping this... Um, uh, features aside in terms of amenities and what our campus offers, let's speak a little more, a uh, little bit more about the academic. For our international students, there are two major intakes. It's the fall semester and the spring semester, with the deadlines being mentioned on the screen, July 1st and November 1st. With that set into context, our minimum GPA requirement for our undergraduate students is around 2.7 GPA out of four. Uh, rest assured, one is not to worry whether um, we have an in-house credential evaluator. As you apply to the course or the college, we ourselves evaluate it and let you know what's the GPA or what's the GPA that you stand at. You do not have to use World Education Services to do a credential evaluation and send that over to us. In terms of the popular colleges that are on our campus, it's the College of Business and the College of Engineering, like I already mentioned. You are not to find a College of Engineering that provides six different tracks when it comes to computer science. Even when it comes to our graduate programs, you have a specialized track in cybersecurity, data science. These are up and coming and really trending um, trending courses that are offered across universities, but we go to the extent that we even provide a specialization even in a major field like computer science. Another uh, important in our current day scenario would be data analytics, which would mean um, so that's something that I'm going to speak on ahead. Uh, in terms of financial documents, our total I-20 cost is around $40,000. Uh, the tuition fee being around $26,000 and the living expense nearly $11,000. We hope that a student is able to support themselves for the nine months of study, which is like the first year of them in them studying in college. And this should be uh, provided even before the I-20 is sent out. I will come back if there are any questions on this point. And in terms of general steps on how one can apply, we have a simple application process. The student has to go on our website, pay the application fee. The minimum test scores are already available in front of you. The only point to note is that the academic transcripts, they have to be directly sent by your institution via courier or via email through your college principal or admission staff, examination controller. It has to be one of the authorized entities to send that official board certificate and transcript. We do not accept any unofficial transcripts that are sent over email by the student. This is the only major point to note. And um, if it were a graduate course, either a GRE or a GMAT score would be uh, applicable wherever necessary. As of 2024 spring intake, there are many courses that have waived off the GRE and GMAT requirement. I'll, I can separately try and share that with you if you reach out to me with any details. Then, like I already mentioned, the business analytics program where it's where data and decision making meet. So um, 
I came across this student Khushi. She was doing her bachelor's in psychology. Currently, she is working as a business analyst, and uh, it's so fascinating to learn that uh, how she came about it was that she was interested in decision 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 sciences and how management meets with that. And now she's working in as an industrial psychologist, and she's having a ball of her time, and. that's the that's the beauty of us education where academic flexibility ends um, ends up giving you good career opportunities which which you would not have otherwise thought of when you started on the course then when when it comes to accounting this is one of my favorites even uh, my boss mr takio suzuki he likes to call it the easiest way to get an american citizenship because there are many companies in the us that uh, offer h1b visas to students who are certified public accountants and our course which is the integrated masters in accounting program it's oriented towards the cpa exam so the cpa exam curriculum is pretty much the same as a four years bachelor's in accounting course so once you complete the four years in bachelor's in accounting course that is when a student typically starts preparing for the cpa exam as and when you finish your masters in accounting you can even become a certified public accountant and that puts you in front of all the companies that are offering an h1b visa which gives you 6 years of stay back in the us so let's say you have attended 5 years of your course at utc you have an additional 6 years of stay back in the us you have stayed for around 9 to 10 years and the american government does not want to lose that kind of intellect and resources that they have invested in you right so it's easier for them to provide you the green card than to let you go so this is a this is a program that we highly recommend to our students then when you take the data data this is the masters for data analytics program there are two tracks that we provide we don't want it to just limit it to you know engineers who end up doing the data analytics course we even want uh business majors to come on our campus and do this course so even with 15 years of study they can opt for the masters of science in data analytics program with a business track so it's not just the college of engineering and business that are accredited our programs are accredited all across the board and if they are not we have a review process where every course is reviewed within the 5 years timeline and the academic curriculum is kept top notch or up to date there's never a course that is going to be out of date then in terms of scholarships that we provide the most common one is the undergraduate scholarship which requires an essay around 300 to 400 words on why you think the university of tennessee chattanooga can help you in your future and uh, provided you receive the scholarship you will get a renewable scholarship of $5000 every year and the deadline for that to apply is july 1st apart from this scholarship which requires a different application process every student who applies to the school is automatically considered for a merit or a need based scholarship as the word stands merit would be in academic excellence or any extra curricular activities that a student highlights on his application they can earn anywhere between uh, as low as 20% or even 100% tuition fee tuition fee return and when it is a need based uh, scholarship they can expect that if their average annual family income is falling below a certain level they can again expect anywhere between 20 to 100% scholarship this is a really competitive scholarship process not every student does end up getting it but we are open to more scholarship for our international students then in terms of the career and leadership cell there are uh, many international students who feel um, who find it difficult to get used to the uh, recruiters in the us so our career and leadership cell they organize these grooming and etiquette sessions there are two career fairs that are hosted twice a year 20 to 40 different companies visit our campus during this career fair some of them are placed in front of you 70 to 80% of our students can you can say safely that they end up securing a um, job placement through these career fairs so because of tennessee's rich economy it's not just a cost effective or valuable proposition that you have in terms of your uh, course 
it's also a career path that you're choosing for yourself. Thanks. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Thank you, Jones, for being a wonderful host. And thanks to the Net 2014 for organizing this session. So, Thank you very much, Jeffy. So yeah. I hope to see you in the future as well. Have a great night today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>